Dorks of Yore. Hey guys, I'm Pat Kilbane. Welcome to RPG Science, where we explore the physics and biomechanics behind tabletop role-playing games. And today, this is part one of a three-part series on the various components of hit points. Hit points are a controversial subject in RPGs and have been for the last 40 years. Fifth edition D&D says that hit points define how tough your character is, while first edition is more nuanced, saying that hit points represent how much damage, actual or potential, a character can withstand before being killed. Whatever edition or system you play, hit points should probably consider these three factors. The physical component, which is how resistant your body is to injury. The mental component, which is your mental tolerance for injury. And the skill component, which is your capacity to reduce the destructive effect of an incoming blow. Today we'll focus on the body's physical capacity to resist injury. Perhaps the most important variable for injury resistance is a creature's cross-sectional area. I talk about cross-sectional area in episode one. From a biomechanical standpoint, the cross-sectional area of a bone determines the amount of force it can withstand before breaking. So for blunt damage especially, cross-sectional area is a key parameter. For cutting and piercing damage, there are a couple of dynamics in play. And cross-sectional area makes sense here because most cutting and piercing injuries are two-dimensional in nature. Given a particular amount of penetration from a particular weapon, a thicker body will be proportionally less damaged and the wound will be less likely to reach vital organs. In addition, for cuts, the larger the circumference of the body, the greater the length of the blade that will be in contact, meaning that the force per unit length will be lower, making the cut long and shallow, or in the case of armor, maybe not penetrating at all. Strength is another component of injury resistance. Even when cross-sectional area is held constant, the stronger someone is, the more resistant they will be to injury. Bone mineral density is directly proportional to muscular strength, so strong muscles mean strong bones that are harder to break. Strength is also beneficial because fibrous muscle tissue is tougher than fat. It acts as body armor that helps keep penetrating objects from getting to your vital organs. Another component of injury resistance is constitution. Some people are genetically tougher than others, with not only stronger immune systems, but thicker skin and blood vessels, making it harder to cut or bruise them. Muhammad Ali had a chin of granite, while Ernie Shavers had a glass jaw. They're two guys about the same size, so what was the difference? Maybe it was, among other things, the genetic gift of constitution. That's it for part one of Breaking Down Hit Points. Parts two and three are on the way. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and if you want to see more videos like this, please support us on Patreon. See you next time.